Hello there, this is Hans Forschner with Napkin Engineering Network. Thank you for the interest in the sampling graphics. In this video, I would like to go over another example map from the Sampling Wind City project. And uh, in this case, I'm going over the 02 facade noise map. And um, again, I expand a little bit more on some of the fundamental steps for the facade map and then also controls and so forth. Um, now, for this uh, map uh, to use that, uh, you have to have, uh, again, certain uh, modules. In this case, uh, this is a road noise project, so you need the road noise module, uh, the facade noise map module, uh, in, to some degree also the grid noise map module for some of the mesh calculation. And then there's the cartography module and the 3D graphic module. So these are all the different modules that are used in this video. So let me get started here by um, opening up and uh, loading the facade noise map or this sheet that is called facade noise map. Uh, so again, we are here in the sheet manager and this shows up all the sheets that are in this uh, example project Win City. So I'll grab that sheet and drag it here into the center. And uh, what you saw here at the very bottom, uh, I don't know if you uh, if you can go back, it, it was flickering here. So uh, this is again a, a com compiled uh, map uh, with a total of six sh uh, six maps. Or oh, this is a sheet with six maps and again legend and the title. So again, to get all the elements here, we can go into the sheet components. So here we can see again all of the different components that are part of this. So from the header, that is at the very bottom here. So here, I guess these are not relabeled. So there's the header. And we have a legend here on the right-hand side, a scale, a logo at the bottom right. And then we have a total of six maps or six uh, drawings um, here in the center. And you can kind of see how they are arranged. And again, they are the same arrangement as in the grid noise map. So they are 110 by uh, 60 uh, millimeters and uh, the scaling of each of those maps is 1 to 2000. So that means that the width of this map is exactly 220 meters and it is uh, 120 meters in height. So that's kind of how these are stitched together and there is no overlap. Um, so they are budding directly next to each other. Again, we have uh, different ways of the data being presented. And so I want to go over that, uh, especially for the facade calculation. The uh, specialty on the facade calculation is that uh, buildings are marked in the geodatabase uh, to calculate either just one point uh, in the center of each facade or every X meters or in the tw uh, two points on the facade or there are just all kinds of different com combination. The program will know exactly the height of the building, how many floors, and then uh, depending on the situation, uh, like here at the bottom right, uh, you can see uh, it may put uh, four receivers on top of each other for the different floors and calculate the noise level for a facade. And in this case down here, for this facade, we have one, two, three, four. So a total of 16 receivers that are placed on that facade to give uh, a very good um, yeah, kind of like, uh, prediction and uh, visualization of kind of like how the facade is impacted. Sometimes, depending on uh, noise control, the lower floors may be less impacted than the upper floors. Or in some cases, for high-rise buildings, the upper floors are maybe that far away that it's actually quieter up uh, on the 10th, 15th, or 20th floor. So these are kind of like some of the things that you can uh, present with the facade map. Um, and have it automatically generate the receivers and automatically run around each building and do the calculation. So here on the uh, the first map here on the top right, let me zoom in. Uh, so here, let me zoom in here. So here we have uh, a display that we have a color coding based on the uh, scale colors. So where we have a point, we have a color coding of the point and we have the db value in the center of each of these uh, numbers. So let me first of all uh, take a look at what are we presenting. So I'll 
click on that map, right click File Selection Manager, and here you can see this is the, the facade results that is loaded, again for the road noise, present situation. And if I right click on that, here we have the choices that we have. Uh, so we can, for example, here we can select that we want the plot to show the fl uh, specific floor, like round, first, second, third floor, the loudest or the, the, the level that is the least loudest on the facade. So these are all the choices you have. In this case, it only shows the maximum. Um, here are the different assessment periods that uh, the whole thing was calculated. Um, we can... <coughs> Look at the limit level. Um, that's another way of uh, looking at the conflicts. Uh, so you have a certain predicted level and how, what is the, the limit uh, of this level or this facade that lives is in a certain zone. And based on the zone, we can identify what is the actual daytime or nighttime limit. And then we can also select that it only shows all those facades that are over a certain limit. So we can basically eliminate any facades that are where the facade level is below the limit, and then it just does not load those facade points. And then down here again, the scaling. Uh, again, this is uh, unfortunately the German scale name. Um, I have to change it maybe. So let's click OK and click OK again. So this is the basic loading of the input data. Now here we have um, different things that we that you may uh, notice here. So some of these uh, values that are shown, they have a line all around. So here, this is a six-sided, um, um, no, it's actually um, eight-sided, it's, it's octagon, and we have a line all around it. And that line is an indication that the noise level is exceeding a certain limit. Then we have the other um, values, uh, the 52, there is no, the octagon is not showing a line, so that is below the limit. So this is a one way of kind of uh, identifying which points are exceeding and which points are uh, within a limit. All right, so it's right click on this and go to the map object types. And here under the map object types, on the facade noise map. So here we can define, we want to use the scale colors. We want to show the levels. And here we can uh, show other things here too. So we can uh, show an identifier, the object number, and there's a whole different selection of different things that we can show beside the sound level that is here, in this case, the maximum sound level. Um, on the cartography uh, yeah, and 3D graphics, there's a few more parameters. Uh, so here, this is the general facade parameters. And then here we have, of course, the selection of how our facade points are uh, drawn. In this case, this is an octagon. Uh, here with conflict, uh, how are they shown in terms of the color coding? Then sometimes you have maybe a free field uh, receiver that is also shown as a facade calculation. You have the receiver with the buildings. The program will automatically add that into the uh, results. So how are they shown? And then here we have facades with conflicts. In, in this case, if there is a conflict, the facade will be drawn with a red line that is a certain thickness. So we can maybe make it thicker just to kind of show the difference. So here now it's thicker. So this kind of shows you which facades of every building uh, have a conflict in terms of the noise level being over a certain limit. And then here we can show it for all facades or all time slices. So if at least one of the time slices is exceeding it, then we are getting that display. So let me uh, click OK at this point or actually cancel. So it's reverting back to the defaults. And then uh, I want to go over some of the other parameters. So here on the right, um, here we are not showing these uh, dots. So here we are just showing um, the color coding of the facade. So here uh, we are showing facade colors in uh, with a color scale and the facade points are turned off. So here this is turned off. If I turn it on, it shows the points again. Let me turn that off again. Um, another view is um, that we have uh, the the, uh, the the building color coded with the loudest level. So that's uh, this map here. 
So this gives a quick overview of uh, the building. So here, fill building with color scale. And in this case, all the facades and so on are turned off. And also the facades are not color coded. Uh, another option is uh, what we see here on the left. Um, we uh, show the facades that are exceeding with the red triangle here. So here we have red triangles. Again, an indication that this is exceeding the uh, limit. Um, so in this case, this is an overlay of facade map and grid results. So here we can see there is the grid results in the background, the contour lines on the uh, over the terrain. And then here we have these colors uh, for exceeding a limit. So let me go to the map object types. So here under the results, facade map. So here nothing is checked here. And then in terms of the facade points with conflict, there is our red triangle. And, um, and then the others are basically just green points. All right. So here green points. Uh, all within the limit, and red is exceeding it. Uh, so let's uh, move on to the last two maps here at the bottom. So here on the left-hand side, this is a very special calculation. This is a facade, uh, actually a, a meshed grid calculation. This is a function that you're getting if you have both the grid noise map module and the facade noise map module. Um, this will allow the program to, instead of like the grid calculation with the equal spacing over the entire pro uh, calculation area, this will uh, space the, uh, the mesh uh, based on kind of certain parameters. So if you're close to a source, the meshing will uh, increase in terms of the density of the, the receivers. So here we can see the receivers in every uh, point where these lines merge together. So here's a point calculated here, here, and so on. We can see the levels for every point. And these lines here, this is basically the triangle mesh that the program created. So around every building, the program will put in receivers all around the building. If you have a source, it puts receivers around the source. Um, and the primary uh, kind of, uh, modus of operandi is the, in terms of the meshing. Uh, the mesh uh, triangles get smaller, uh, the more active the sound field is. So the sound field is uh, very active close to a source, uh, close to objects that are shielding, that are reflecting. So wherever there's a lot of changes, uh, the program will uh, add more points. And areas where you don't have much changes, uh, the mesh uh, opens up and you have less points. Now, one of the side effects of this uh, mesh calculation is that the program will also save not only the overall level, but also the octave or third octave data, depending on how it's uh, the data was entered. So let's uh, let me open up the uh, file selection manager here for this map. So here is the uh, city noise map calculation for industry. So this is probably the, the beer festival. And in here we can again look up a specific assessment and a specific octave band. So here we have all these octave bands uh, available in terms of selection. So we can, uh, for example, go to 250 hertz and then it loads the 250 hertz data. In this case, A weighted, uh, but we can also revert the, uh, the weighting and it shows it in terms of the color scale. So let me click OK and click OK. And uh, here we need to change the frequency. And this is actually something that we could uh, make uh, use the text variable. And then um, it shouldn't need that input anymore. Let's see. And text variable frequency, click OK. And I guess we need to have Hertz behind that. Hertz. All right. And then this is a text variable. So as I change frequencies, automatically changes and updates the text here. And um, I think that is all I want to do here. Oh, uh, one last thing here. The uh, meshing and also the uh, 3D map of... Uh, the different views. So here on the bottom right, there's uh, different views of uh, the um, 
3D graphics uh, with the facade map calculations of solid color for a facade or point colors right here. Um, so let me open that up in the edit map. And um, so this is the map that we have. We can uh, again uh, change it to a 3D if, or a top view site map or 3D module. And then of course here we can rotate the entire thing and take a look from all the different directions. And let me cancel out of that. And uh, in terms of the map object types, uh, what's important here is under the facade map, what is what are the settings for the 3D graphics? So in this case, it shows the points. Here we have the point size. And then it color codes the points. Okay. And uh, so this has to be turned on. So otherwise you're not seeing the, the, these points. And then um, in terms of this map here, um, where we have a color coding of the facade. So here um, we uh, show the facade in scale colors right here. And uh, in terms of the points, there is no points here. All right, um, I think that ex, uh, finishes my um, overview for the facade noise uh, sheet in the city noise map. Uh, thank you for listening and um, have a great day. Thank you.